Let me spread the units out. Maybe that'll serve as a better incentive. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> All right, Azriel. No. The extra loud version of the death. Maybe a bit faster than the audio in the game. Thank you! GG! Oh, now we have the post game map. Thank you for all of your hard work. The world has been saved. I will depend on you to prevent these seven days of suffering from ever happening again. Well, save your energies and keep your guard against future evil spirits. Wow, seven days of suffering? I streamed exactly seven days. What are you trying to say, Goddess Herald? Huh? Huh, you jerk? Wow. Just got called out by the goddess. <laughs> Thank you, Sensor eighty eight. Then the Guardian removes their helmet. And we find out that it's Zero Suit Samus the whole time, and that they're really a woman. Just drop into space on my sweet arc whip. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess there. I guess two voice actors voicing the shopkeep Asriel. And the Guardians, I guess. All right. Okay, I couldn't tell if there were going to be lyrics <laughs> to the end credit theme or not. I was waiting. I am going to score the game once we get to the end of the credits, because that's the thing I do. Danger, danger, voice actor. Well, that's the goddess Herald. Wow. 
Whoa! <laughs> the end just rockets in. Well, we beat it faster than how long the beat said it would take. Although, if I kept the animations on, it probably would have taken the amount of time it should have. All right, so that was Guardian War. That's the end screen. Well, we saved the day and we even got the extra character named Extra to really uh, round everything off. Um, overall, I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, like the game's definitely above a, a 70. I, I have no I have no qualms about giving it that. It's earned it. Uh, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna place it neatly at around a 73. Uh, that's where I feel that it, it kind of fairly fits. It has a lot of interesting ideas. Uh, but I, I wish they panned out a little bit better. I like the fact that you you can recruit enemy allies into your units, but I don't like the fact that you can't really control them. It makes it feel like they're actually not part of your party at all. I, I would have preferred for them to have been fully automated for you to be able to control them uh, fully, manually, and just be able to just utilize them alongside your crew members instead of just having like a punching bag Labia that dies immediately. But the concept of recruiting enemies units uh, that are part of Azriel's army into your army uh, definitely appeals to me. I, I really like the idea of doing that. I do like the uh, fact that there are multiple classes and that you can buy them and or find them and rank up naturally into them. I like that as a concept. What I did not like is when the game enforced certain classes, like levels that clearly required you be Birdman only, or you can't get across these islands, or levels that were those two levels that were Fishman only, that you can't progress unless you're a Fishman. I feel like uh, maybe you should have levels, I mean, it's okay if levels are harder, if you pick certain classes, like a, a level you really wish you had a mage, but you can still do it, it's just extremely difficult if you don't. Instead of just mandating certain classes that are in your party, I feel that's a little unfair. It kind of ruins the, the customization aspect if you have to swap your classes if you really don't want to have to in that respect. But uh, I think the game is just very simple. It's fun to play, but I feel like it exhausted a lot of its ideas at the start. It exhausted the classes, the recruitment system at the beginning, and really peppered you with nothing new and exciting in later levels. I feel like it recycled a lot of the maze ideas, and as soon as it had like the underwater mechanic, that was the last unique thing the game really and truly introduced at that particular point. Um, I do think it's a fun game. It's it's the best tactics game we've played all year because it's the only tactics game we've played all year. <laughs> but um, I don't think it's a bad game. I think people looked at it and thought like the graphics and, and certain aspects of the games maybe didn't age so well. Uh, but I thought it was very fun and exciting. I thought it was... I mean, it, I, I wasn't bored by it, by playing it. I think towards the end, it was a little bit... The, the stages got a little bit too involved because there were too many enemies and everybody else that wasn't at the level you were supposed to just struggled forever. Uh, I did like the fact that they gave you those uh, grinding maps where enemies were purposely underleveled compared to the earlier maps to let other people catch up. So you did have the, a way to like not be stuck in that, in that section where you're just kind of stuck forever and your, your party members can't really catch up. Uh, the music is probably the highlight of this game. I think the soundtrack for this game is uh, is phenomenal. I, I had never known it was, existed prior to playing this game, and that's probably going to be like my biggest takeaway. The memory is uh, the 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 music and melodies are so good. Uh, you wouldn't really want a 3D printed pumpkin for your desk. Yeah, I, I think like like I said, I you know I've seen reviews of this game where they're like, no, I, I sold it immediately when I got it. It's just like. I, I don't think it's that bad. I think the first stages are extremely punishing if you don't understand the running away aspect. Because I, I did that immediately. I'm like, oh my gosh, they are hitting for like half my health. <laughs> what am I going to do? 
And so I had to just retreat and back away. I had to heal, I had to retreat back away. I had to slowly and methodically plan out the first couple of stages and hokey pokey my way through until I felt more comfortable. And yeah, and I think people might have been turned off by those first couple of stages uh, just because of the fact that they are hard if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, yeah, the soundtrack really rules, I agree. Um, I, I, I definitely am going to be looking up all of the soundtrack now that I there's nothing left to spoil. Although the game, the game wasn't plot heavy, but it didn't need to be either. It would have been nice. Um, overall, I'm satisfied. Uh, I'm satisfied with the game. It, it's it's a it's a comfortable game. It doesn't get the 75 where I recommend a person play it, and this an 80 where it's a must play. But if you own a 3DO, I'd say get this game. It's a good game. And that's what I have to say about that. Uh, I believe it was the Students of the Democratic uh, Society back in 1965 that said, make love, not guardian for him, but I might be wrong. Uh, I, I think that the game itself, is, I mean, it's, it's a fine game. Uh, <laughs> I know I give it, I, I, I give it, I, I laughed a lot just because it wasn't. It, 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 it defied expectations at, at certain points where <laughs> where things had happened just randomly, but it's a, it's a good game. All right, uh, so Sunday is, for those of you who are just now popping in, is going to be Snow Job. We are going to have this experience on the 3DO, unless it's something that I will have to cancel because it's too raunchy. I don't think it is though. It doesn't have an adults only rating. It has a, a 17 rating. It's, it's basically going to be like one of those adventure type games you'd play on various consoles back in the day that are more point and click, you kind of explore, you play detective, um, and it's an original experience for the 3DO. And I don't think they'll be saying danger, danger. Uh, oh yeah, I don't want to forget the danger, danger aspect of my review, sorry, I, I guess I already did. <laughs> yeah, seems interesting. We'll, we'll see if it's interesting or not. Um, and, you know, ultimately, whether or not it's going to have... I mean, what the experience is going to be like, because it's, it's specifically catered towards the 3DO experience, whatever that means. I don't know what that means, but we'll find out. Um, but, and yeah, and after that, so we'll play that for however, however long it takes, two, maybe three days. And then that'll be just in time for Super Mario RPG. We'll play Lucien's Quest for the 3DO afterward, and of course, anything else that people redeem uh, in between that, uh, with their with their blobber points, we'll be able to experience that way too. Anyway, Sensor, I, I really appreciate your help and your guidance through sev several of the more obscure aspects about this game. Uh, I really appreciate the help, the link to maps, the advice about the items, things of that nature. It really helped smooth the gameplay. I don't, I don't necessarily, I mean, you gave me a very kind of spoiler-free experience, which I, I appreciate. Not that there's a damn thing you can really spoil in this game. It's like, oh no, Azriel's the big bad. I never would have guessed that uh, if the game hadn't explained it at the very beginning. It's just like, I don't know. Uh, but I, I do appreciate the experience. I'm glad I was able to, to play this game because I don't know how often people play this. I suspect not often. I suspect maybe a handful of people a year might ex discover this game. I appreciate I appreciate that feedback. I tr I try to play these games because they're just they're chill games. Like I work like 60 to 65 hours a week. I need something that's gonna unwind and not stress me out. And the the action RPGs of today, where I have to input 20 to 30 inputs a second to do aerial combos and everything else, I'm just like, I I I can't do it. <laughs> not anymore. I'm not as young as I used to be. Yeah, so th thank you all for stopping by. Not just Sensor, uh, Weird Proc, I appreciated you coming by. Uh, Jevil, thank you. And Bear Kidney, as always, thank you. And thank you again for the 36 months of uh, being subscribed to my channel. I really do appreciate it. It all goes towards more of these g obscure games that I continue to play. And so every little bit counts. All right, everybody. I will see everybody in the respective discords. And I will be back on Sunday. So thank you all and have a wonderful night. And I dedicate this victory to you. To you. To you.